can look at society as like you know it was formed by people right and in every people organization doesn't matter how we claim to be egalitarian there's got to be a leader like you say it triggers down because um the breakup of some sort of um mentality so in six harmonies principle um we talk about number one is the hardest once you get number one right the other five falls in place it will it will it will work the first one is about uh having a right understanding you know your ideas your views you know may not be identical it can be different variety diverse but it has to base on the right you know organ a family is to have a happiness right between you and your husband or you and your wife and and then your children you know that's number one it's the point of having a family is to get through this life together happily what's the point of forming a company to win together, to, to build some sort of uh, organization that can harness more resources and build profits. And that profits will be shared among the, the uh, in form of wages, in form of taxes. And then what's the benefit of, I mean, what's the point of having countries, uh, a nation, so that they, everyone can group together in that region because we're bound by physical limitations, right? We can't just fly. We need airplanes and all that. But, okay, sorry. So, to to have the sense of um you know community so we can help each other you know and you know to defend each other when you know elements of nature uh, or elements of you know invasions comes in you can help each other protect each other so this is this is the right understanding that sounds very common sense but sometimes it's lost in translation when it goes to day to day uh, when things go well people like it, like like what the book of decency in Confucius teaching said, when things go well, you forgot how it was when things were tough. And then, and then everyone become more and more narrow-minded, selfish, only, uh, you know, worry about how many zeros I get in my accounts, uh, instead of actually connecting to their family, connecting to their uh, siblings, connecting to their communities, see what's going on. You know, everyone's got obsessed with, how do I look good on my IG? How do I look on my um, you know, profile? You know, how to appear happy instead of actually being happy. Um, uh, and and this goes to everywhere. You know, from from from. Of course, we can't just say, oh, it's it's the president's fault, or it's the is the you know the the boss fault. That's he's also product of his generation from that kind of mentality. Um, the other way of saying is the negligence of reiterating common sense is what happens you know everyone to focus on technical understanding education trying to get that uh, you know extra marks to get to pass and forgetting the whole point of education is to enlighten your mind to this is education what we're looking at now those are those are telling you do not do this because it has no good what is not good what is good those are education what is the benefit what is the harm of doing this Instead of stucking in that kind of mindset, you know, uh, stabbing each other in order to get to the top, there is other way to get there. You know, that you don't have to do this in order to have a good life. There are many ways you can have a good life, uh, and how you manage your relationship with each other as a human is the first step, and and then you expand to your you know animals, and then you extend to your environment. But it always starts with human to human. Um, and what what you mentioned about corruption on in society, I agree. It's because of lacking that um, consensus. There's no more consensus. What consensus? What even is consensus? I would say the the common consensus now might just be, you know, I just want to get more money, enjoy. But how can you enjoy when everything around you is falling apart? Right? How you? Imagine your Yellowstone Park in US, if everyone just don't care about it, throwing rubbish, de defouling all the monuments or uh, 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 yeah, the natures, there's no more Yellowstone National Park for you to enjoy. There's no more beauty for you to enjoy because everything was very ruined. Um, so that, that kind of, you know, education needs to come back. We're not saying that we shouldn't study math and science and all that. Those are technical stuff to, to serve you. 
not the other way around. You don't just study just to get money. Remember, money is your tool, not your goal. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be used by money. You should use the money for happiness. So what is happiness? Right? Having three Lamborghinis happiness? That means three times the upkeep, three times the worry, three times the security? No. Having the money and able to use it in the right way, you can invest it, you can use it and share it with your family. First step. And then you can share it with the communities, build up infrastructure, build up, you know, build up the uh, uh, space, uh, tools uh, that can be better using the knowledge you learn. But before all this technical education, Confucius didn't say no. He said that you need to start with moral education. What is moral education? Right? People might group it in religion. No, we don't. We cannot group it in that mindset. Moral education just simply means how people and people work with each other, relationship with the people. With, between between people in Chinese, it is called lun li. Uh, lun li means the the relationship between people. If you can manage well, because people and people when they work together, it can be very powerful. And if you use the word competition in the right way, jun zi zi zhen, you know, competition between the real gentlemen. It's not about their own personal glories. I am better. You know, you are terrible stuff. It's more about, with all due respect, sir, I think this might not work because of ABCD. I think we should do A, B, C, uh, EFG in addition to ABCD. And the other person like, thank you, please be honest. Um, I really need more input to this proposal. How can I do better? That kind of society is what we want. That's how you work in an organization. That's how a good organization wins, by being honest and open while still respectful and have dignity with each other. And that is totally again, uh, totally in opposite of what um, Taishan Gai Yinping trying to warn us not to do. Right? The opposite of abusive use of power, the opposite of insult, is to wise, be wise in use of power, authority, influence, and to you know be respectful and honest in in the way. Yeah. So that's a balance, basically. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we can't prevent, we can't say saving. It, to be honest, it's we are far gone in a way, but it's not, it's it, it's sad, but at the same time, we also want us to, you know, work hard in our cultivation, go to Pure Land earlier. Because, you know, how did Pure Land becomes Pure Land? Sorry, I'm, I'm taking a liberty of a few more minutes to uh, wrap this up. Why is Pure Land Pure Land? You know, is Pure Land just magically come out of thin air without any reason? No. Buddhism is always based on reason. And reason is based on wisdom. Wisdom is based on pure observation, understanding. And 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 for Pure Land, the only matters, differences, is their use of heart and time. We are, our time frame is short. So, you know, people Z reach their peak at around 40 years old. But for Buddha's time, because of their merit and fortunes they have accumulated, they have infinite, or they have billions of kalpas, millions of years. Mm. Something we cannot imagine, but plausible. So basically, back to the point, why is pure land pure land? Why is our Saha world, which is the world of uh, suffering and you know a lot of uh, unwholesome things happening, why is their world pure land? Why is our world full of dirt and mess? Because of the use of heart. Everyone educate each other. They have a different features. You know, they might all look the same. They have their own merits as well, but they all merge together perfectly because they all have the common ground. And that common ground is, you know, they want to, they have a compassion heart. They will really help each other. They really uh, have no differentiation, no discrimination. They have no, um, you know, uh, they do not wonder ring thoughts. Even their wandering thoughts is well uh, skillfully directed towards enlightenment. Right? This is because of the vow of Amitabha Buddha. And Amitabha Buddha cannot achieve this level of skillfulness without observing. And he does not just observe one, two, ten millions. He observes endless millions and millions of world, of many Buddha's world, because there are many Buddhas, right? 
and they observe different modes of living in a different uh, Buddha's world, Buddha, Buddha's pure land. And he pick what is good and what is not good. And he, he reject what is not good. You know, what is the cause of three lower realms? What is the cause of three uh, higher realms? You know, the heaven, the human, the asura, maybe not the asura, the human and the heaven realm. What is the cause of people falling into animal assistance, uh, ghost, hungry ghost assistance or hell? It's all because of this heart. And and, and and he observed that for a long time, in the sutra, five kalpas, to get to where he is, starting to build pure land. And that is why you only need, you have to be committed to go to pure land and chant Amitabha for, not just anyone can go there. Because that is a world of vow, not karma. I mean, not karma, not, um, not passively, uh, they are all using the law of karma, but he used it so well that only people with vow to born to pure land and able to chant Amitabha in the last moment able to go there. And people who, you know, are unsure, but they still steadfast in their recitation of Amitabha, able to go to the border of the pure land, but they technically they are in there. That's called Bian Di Yi Chen in Chinese. Uh, one one day we'll talk about that. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, you know. Why pure land is pure land? Because he accepts only people who, who really have the same idea. And the very bottom line, they are willing to go to pure land, willing to accept 48 vows of Amitabha. Some people might not even know. You know, the uncles and aunties who have no knowledge of Amitabha's vow. They only heard Amitabha. And they, I'm pretty sure because of the past life, they accept it. Some people who are well educated, they still can't accept it. Why this? Why that? which is perfectly fine if they eventually ease into it. But what I'm trying to say is, that's why Pure Land is Pure Land. Everyone has a common ground. In the very bottom line, they accept the 48 vows. They accept that, you know, uh, Buddha, uh, everyone can be a Buddha. They accept that um, there's no discrimination. Uh, there's no uh, um, attachments. So the attachment and discrimination need to be let go. They might not be able to do it on their own, but by chanting Amitabha for earnestly, they're able to do that because of the vow, the promise made by Buddha, Amitabha Buddha. So back to our world, we can be inspired in some way in our world. We might not be able to do that in large scales, but in our little own space, you know, if you have the right conditions and if your heart is true and you have the right position and power and influence, try your best. Build up consensus, build up common sense. Yeah. This common sense is um, is not new. It's it's the truth is shouldn't be something new. It should be something eternal, something that can be applied no matter which era you're in, which planet you're in, which uh, civilization you're in, which culture you're in. You know? That truth is you know being respectful to one another, being loving and kind to one another, will begets a more loving and kind and tolerant society. You know, having a more caring mindset means that you also take care of yourself, you also kind of protect yourself, but at the same time, you expand your scope to this organization. You want to better this organization, better this country. You know, that should be the consensus. And then we can talk about everything else, the technicalities, the, the agreements, disagreements, because everyone has the right mindset, like family between husband and wife. I really want this relationship to work. And then you talk about, maybe you should wash more dishes. Maybe you should, you should do, do more laundry. Maybe we should talk more about, you know, how we speak. Uh, they might argue, they might you know, bicker, but in the end of the day, they want this relationship to work. They want their children to be happy. Because I've seen some family, maybe of the past life grievances, after they married, they just, 180 degree change and that person becomes vicious demanding more and more and that person came from a rich family from a family where he she he or she would never need to worry about earning income all he need or she needs is to ask money from daddy or mommy and and their life is like as a middle upper class it's very comfortable but asking for more and more and more and more you know that's 
that's lacking consensus. One side wants to build a relationship, the other side just want to you know, have fun, you know, bye bye, we have a good time, bye. How can this work? Right? Sometimes it's you do your best, it might not work, but you might do it in a very uh, loving and civil way, it's fine. But more, more often, people don't give enough, uh, people without right consensus in the beginning haven't figured out whether they have a common ground and they fall into that relationship. There you go. All right. So from family, you know, this happens. And, and, and organization, the people you recruit, you know, you must see, you know, test. You can't control every entry, but you're able to observe, right? You observe for a long time, see if that person actually has the right mindset. Are they the kind of person who just do the job and drop it? Or are the person who actually care about quality? They might not be skillful, they might not be well-educated, but their spirit is correct. I think there's a saying very famous. Um, he's confused, but he's got the spirit. You know, he might not say the right word, do, uh, give the right expression, but he or she really wants to be contributing to this society or organization. You got the right person. Because all these other skill stuff, you can train them, but you can't have their mindset. You can just ask them to have the mindset to contribute. They need to have that on their own. Same goes to Pure Land. You need to have the mindset to go to Pure Land. Buddha cannot say, you must go to Pure Land. You can't. They can't force you. This is your own choice. Only when you make the choice, then they say, okay, here's Amitofo. Here's the Sutra. You can chant the Sutra. Or you can't focus, Dylan. Okay, now try something else. Talk more about Tai San Gai Yin Learn about this so that you can be more, fear, uh, be more aware of the reality of the world so that you don't get stuck into beautiful girls or beautiful music and stuff and you'll be able to go to pure land something like that you know you need to have that heart right all right i uh i go overboard but i hope it helps in uh, whatever you are wherever you are um, to build a more uh, hopeful and beautiful outlook in your life you know even between yourself guys you need to have consensus with yourself. Trust me, I've been one of those people who fight with myself a lot. It's painful. <laughs> yeah, struggle. Yeah. All right.